One of our deceivers was once robbed in a mall. Tell us who you think it is by voting along in the chat. Let's find out who's telling the truth and who is a chump. Season finale. It doesn't really <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome to Chump, everybody. The Rooster Teeth Game Show, all about lying and deception. I'm your host, Jeremy Dooley, and this is brought to you by Manscaped and Bespoke Post. Uh, and this is the season finale of Chump. Uh, we will be back for more. I'll tell you more about that at the end of the show. But since this is the season finale, we brought back some of our greatest contestants and deceivers yet all right one of our only winners and then some of our best foolers and also blaine joined us <laughs> so let's introduce some of the deceivers starting of course with the one and only chris damaris hey moving on to deceiver number two alfredo diaz it's looking to win big <laughs> and deceiver number three blaine gibson <laughs> Joining, <laughs> joining the Deceiver team, a contestant, a former contestant. Uh, yeah, not now so back great. to lie. Yeah. That's what you're here for this time. And of course, one of our only winning contestants is back. It's Mr. Gavin Free. <laughs> All right, a little little laughs, a little laughs right there. Little little golf cut. Now the other person, of course, playing along in this game is you, the audience, voting along in the chat from game to game and who knows maybe you'll come out as the winner of this episode as long as you're not the chump you don't want to end the season like that but let's start things off with a game called pushing the envelope you guys know how this game can works I, can i just say i already hate alfredo's face Alfredo, he's, he's be the smuggest. He hasn't even said a word yet and he's just he's just rubbing his giving lips. me smug face and i know i'm just he's he's okay He's uh, insanely good at lying. That's why we, uh, you know, specifically brought Alfredo on here. I didn't Chris tell a lie a last weirdo. Time. Right. So like, that's perfect for Chris us. the unreadable. Yeah. <laughs> and then Dialed and then we got Blaine. Now, and Blaine, who knows? <laughs> joke never gets old. This could be your thing, though. We will see. Are you good at lying? Do you think? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Tell me. <laughs> that man has a tell. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we needed. So for pushing the envelope, I have envelopes with true facts about our deceivers in them. I'll shuffle them up and redistribute them so they might get their own story and they might get someone else's. It's up for Gavin and the audience to determine that. There you are, boys. So uh, once you read your fact, word for word, what's written in front of you, Gavin is going to question each of you for 60 seconds to try to determine if you're lying or telling the truth because that's all Gavin needs to tell us, whether or not they're lying or telling the truth. If you get two or more right then you're gonna get some points. If you get all three, you get two points. You know, two of them, you get one point. Uh, and then you guys, if it gets any less than that, the receiver's gonna get some points. Audience who work a bit differently, we'll get to that a little later on. But it's time to hear the facts. So starting with Chris, just open it up and read what it says. I ran away from home and was chased back by a dog. <laughs> Let's move on to Alfredo. Uh, I was robbed multiple times at the mall. What is this that you're doing? <laughs> <In every day? laughs> this is this new thing. It's lubricating. Uh, Blaine? I was once kicked in the middle of a club. Kicked in the middle of a club? I thought he was going to say in the middle of the chest or the, <laughs> this is the middle of a club. <clears throat> All right, so there are your facts and audience. The one you are telling us is uh, who was robbed in a mall, who actually was robbed in a mall. Uh, you can use hashtag Chris, hashtag Alfredo, hashtag Blaine in the chat to cast your votes. Remember that uh, spamming the same name does not do anything, but you can change your vote at any point. You just get one vote, so change it wisely. Um, Gav, do you know who you want to start with, questioning-wise? Let's start with Chris. Starting with Chris. Ran away from home, All chased right. back by a dog. So you're going to have 60 seconds. You ready? Yeah. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. Why'd you run away from home? My mom would not let me spend the night with my friend. So you ran away from home? What, you wanted the friend to come to your house? No, I was running away to his house. Okay. Where was the dog? Uh, chasing me. Yeah, but how did you, how did you come across this dog? Uh, well, I, my friend lived like, well, what I, I didn't know exactly how far, but I knew he lived somewhere in the neighborhood, so I was walking towards his direction. Door to door. And then, <laughs> and then there was this dog at the corner of, I think it was like 49th Street. So this is here in Austin? No. Oh, okay. No, not. <laughs> there's, there's multiple there's cities have numbered streets. streets. 
<laughs> and uh, the dog chased me. I think it. Uh, I think it was the beef jerky that did it. You had beef jerky on. <laughs> on your person, you had some beef jerky. Yeah. The dog chased you, and you just ran all the way back. Well, the ch he chased after me, and so I turned and ran. And what did your friend say when you didn't go? Well, he didn't know I was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Why? I was, I was five. You were, you were what? I was five. Five. So you pegged. I'm out of questions. <laughs> yeah. I Pe love that. Snatching jerky. The five. jerky was out of nowhere that jerky showed up. <laughs> That's like if someone was like, I was mauled to death by a monkey. You're like talking about all that, you know, he was coming at me and something and like, why was I saying he's like, ah, it might have been the bananas. A sack of bananas, <laughs> obviously, mean, don't you know? It was a lot to do with that. <laughs> well, there's Chris's story, uh, being chased home by a dog. Okay. Who do you want to go to next? Next, uh, I'll go to Liar. All right, that's Alfredo. <laughs> me? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Alfredo, you want to read that fact again for us? Yeah. Just word for I'll word, what is it? I'll read you my fact. I was robbed multiple times at the mall. Multiple times at the mall. All right, and this is the one the audience is trying to figure out as well, so keep that in mind. Gavin, I'm gonna give you 60 seconds. Ready, set, go. San Fran? Yeah. Okay, how many times? Twice. Twice? Yes. Multiple times is twice. Mm -hmm. That is okay. multiple, it's more than one. That is true. Um, so what was the first one? Tell me about it. Well, the first one, well, first off, it was an outdoor mall called Stonestown. Nice, close And up. then from there, what happened was, I worked at a coffee shop. I've told this story a handful of times get before. Get to it, please, yeah. get to it. And so anyways, leaving a bad area, bad neighborhood, super late at night, uh, walking out the street, some guy walked up to me. He was like, oh, hey, what's up? Me being a nice person, I was like, oh, hi. And then he like used that to like try and reach into my like hoodie pocket yeah. and steal my phone. Cause he saw I had Apple headphones. Okay, that's number one, got it. Yeah. <laughs> and what did you do in response? I mean, it was really stupid. Cause the guy was like, yo, I got a gun. And I was like, oh. So what I told him was, <laughs> he was like, yo, I got a gun. Give me your, give me your iPod. And I was just like, either shoot me or get the hell out of my way. Damn. And so that was a smart, but then he like punched me in the chest and then I just kind of kept walking. The second time, my bicycle got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> now this man is such a storyteller, moisturizing the entire time. Uh, Gab, I'll give you another question. I'll give you another question for him. Uh, so, so what happened with the bike? You took it. <laughs> the bike was just t taken. Yeah. So, that, so having your bike stolen is a mugging. Well, was, he's yeah. robbed. I was robbed, robbed my multiple bike. times. It's my All property right. and it costs stuff. But you, you, you were with the bike. I was with the bike. Yeah, because I was. I bike to the bus stop, and then from there I put the my bike on the front of the bus because there's little racks for the for the bikes, and then I bike uh, bus home. All right, there you go. That's your questions for Alfredo. Uh, so we're gonna move on to Blaine. Blaine, can you read your fact for us one more time? I was once kicked in the middle of a club. Kicked in the middle of a club. I Gavin, you get 60 seconds for Blaine here. Ready, set, go. Was it an intentional kick? No. It was an accidental kick. It was an accidental Explain kick. Explain the scenario, please. I'm That's fucking wasted at a place called Cowboys. It's in Dallas. And there was a guy breakdancing, and I didn't know he was breakdancing. So I was just walking through a crowd. Guy's fucking swinging around because he's on the ground. Oh, sorry, microphone. Oh my <laughs> God! Right, <laughs> right, right in the in the in the chest. Yeah, right in the, the solar plexus. Yeah, yeah. Um, were you with a lady that night? Yes. Did you get some later? Oh. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Did she have anything my... to say about your chest kicking? I don't think it like helped me get <laughs> some because we were dating for a while. You didn't get time. sympathy points? I didn't get any sympathy points. I don't, I don't what did you do to the man? Cool. Was it a man who kicked you? Yeah, yes. it was. What did you say to him? I, sorry, 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 sorry. You apologized to him? Yeah, because I walked into the middle of his little Were, you, were you mad? Was I mad? Yeah. No, I was drunk. I'm a happy drunk. You got drunkenly kicked and you were like, this is great. Sorry, sir. I just felt bad. I felt awkward. Oh. <laughs> it was called Cowboys. Cowboys. Bar? In Dallas. <clears throat> In Dallas. All right. Yeah. Big break dancing spot, that place. Right in the middle of the square dance floor. There's our three, uh, there's our three stories right there. Remember, audience, you're voting on specifically who was robbed multiple times at a mall, so you can, this last second to change your votes if you're going to before I lock you guys in. Uh, Gav, off the bat, is there anyone you're just, like, totally not buying? <clears throat> um, well, I can't read Chris at all, but it, so it sounds pretty Chris <laughs> to be chased <laughs> home by a dog. I don't know who would ever rob Blaine. That would be a bad idea, so maybe that's... Not, you know, maybe Alfredo's one. You mean just like there. physically imposing type thing? Yeah. 
I mean, but Blaine wasn't always this. Wasn't. No. It's true. But you know what? Fat. You sort that out in your own brain. You get in there. Um, audience, we're locking in your answer <coughs> right now, so you are locked in. If you get this correct, it's going to be worth two points, so you really do want this one. Gavin, we're going to go down the line one at a time. All you have to do is tell me whether or not they're telling the truth or lying. So starting with Chris, who uh, ran away from home, was chased back by a dog. Is that actually his story? Is he telling the truth or is he lying? I'm going to say no. You think he's lying? Yeah. Locking that in? Yeah. All right, let's lock in Chris, the liar. Moving on to Alfredo. Still moisture. My lips feel dry. <laughs> and they're really not that dry. <laughs> now they just feel it. Uh, Kevin, Alfredo, robbed multiple times in a mall. Is he telling the truth or is he lying? <clears throat> I mean, he's, you know, he's lived in shitty areas. Could have happened. His face, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can I come back to him? You, sure. Let's go to Blaine. Uh, Blaine, is he telling the truth or is he lying? <laughs> Blaine is lying. You sound pretty sure about that. Are you locking that in? Yes. All right, let's lock in Blaine as a liar. So now you're left with Alfredo uh, lying or telling the truth. So basically you think either all three of them are lying or you think that <clears throat> Blaine and Chris are flipped. Yeah. What do you I think? I just can't figure this shit out. And, it's... and what? I. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Please, the longer you take, the more goes on there. I gotta think about it like this. I'd rather be wrong about him telling the truth than think he was telling the truth when he was lying. Did that make any sense? No, I didn't really follow that. <laughs> god. What is he? What is he doing? <clears throat> He's lying! You think all three are lying? No. Yes. Lock it in. All right. Lock it in. <laughs> he thinks all three of them are lying. <laughs> Audience, who actually was robbed multiple times in a mall? What did you think? They think Chris was robbed multiple times at a mall. It's quite robbable. <laughs> what a, it's the most yeah. robbable. It's quite robbable. What is that? Because right. we're just jolly. All right. Okay. A, lot, a lot of points up for grabs here. So uh, starting with, so we're gonna go down the line. Uh, starting with Chris. <clears throat> who claimed that uh, he ran away and was chased home by a dog. You thought he was lying. I can reveal that Chris was lying. You got that right. Excellent. Well done, Gav. That Excellent. was not about Chris. Very Chris story. Very Chris story. I've been chased by a dog. Stop. Just, I've ran home. Stop. Not together. <laughs> uh, Alfredo robbed multiple times in a mall. This is the one that really threw you. Uh, you thought he was lying. I can reveal Alfredo was lying. You got that one right. You were right. And uh, so either these two are flipped and he's telling the truth, or you got it all right, this is Gavin. Probably true. Isn't it? Either way, you're getting points. <clears throat> okay. You got one point now, but you're going for two. Uh, you thought Blaine was lying when he said he was kicked in the chest at a club. I can reveal that Blaine was lying. You got it, Gavin. Woo! Three, yeah. for three. Man, well good. done. Yeah, yeah, and um, I would just hold so it. audience, <clears throat> you thought uh, who got robbed? They thought Chris got robbed. Is that what they thought? Audience. Like 53%, I think. Was it? You were wrong. Blaine got robbed. It was Blaine. Blaine is the one who got robbed. Also, Alfredo, you did yourself no favors when you were like, I got robbed multiple times at a mall. One of them was at, but then your stories, one was at a bus stop, one was like on the street corner. <laughs> I said I rode my bike home. That's From the mall? I, I said, hey, I had a, my bicycle got robbed. I used it to ride my bike to the bus. <clears throat> to the bus? Where's the mall? And the, the thing said mall, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I assume that the story was already set up as in, like, this was outside of the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> you were using too much of your brain on doing this that you didn't think it through. But it feels so good. It looks like it. Does. That means at the end of that, Gavin, the contestant, is getting two points. No points for the deceivers. No points for the audience. Uh, which means the contestant, Gavin, really shown his skills still out to an early lead. Support for Chump is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. I use Manscaped's products all the time. I use them in the shower because they got a lot of things to clean up, and I do use their trimmers uh, quite
quite often, not only uh, down there, but I also use them up here when I need to. Uh, manscaping accidents are finally a thing of the past. The Manscaped's engineering team spent 18 months perfecting the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and just released the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of balls are about to be nick free thanks to Manscaped's advanced skin safe technology. They've also upgraded to a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. And like I said, my head is just a giant ball. So I use that lawn mower all the time, all right? To mow my lawn, if you know what I'm saying. The battery will last up to 90 minutes. So you can take a longer shave. You want to shave your balls for 90 minutes? Who doesn't? One of the coolest features is the LED light, which illuminates grooming areas for closer and more precise trimming. Like when you're trimming in the dark. It happens, power goes out, you still need to be smooth. And let's not forget about the charging stand. It's right there, so you have it whenever you need it. Trim that junk of yours. Get ball, uh, get balls that will thank you, I almost said. Trim that junk of yours, your balls will thank you. They will, you'll hear them quietly at night. Get 20% off and free shipping with code CHUMP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code CHUMP. Uh, that can still all change up in the next games. Also, those stories, we will hear the true stories in our post-show CHUMP change when we get to that. But uh, let's move on to our second game, which is called What's in the Box? This is a very familiar game to everyone at this point. Uh, all three of them are going to claim to have a strange, bizarre item inside of their box. Only one of them actually has the item. The other two are making up something, and their box is empty. Gavin will get to question them up to my discretion when I tell him to move on to someone else uh, about who has the actual item, and you are voting on who actually has the item in their box. Hashtag Chris, hashtag Alfredo, hashtag Blaine in the chat. It's that easy. So we're going to start things off by hearing a one-sentence quick description of what's in your box. So we're going to start with Chris. Uh, who's next to me. So you're going to pop that open, reach in and turn on the light. Careful, because this was shattered to bits before the uh, episode today. Don't know who did it, but they just hulked the thing right off. So uh, lift that up. Turn on the light in there. Mm -hmm. uh, so. so you can, like, reach in and tap the... Oh, yeah, it's, it's already on. I just got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, quickly, what is in your box? Uh, it is uh, a duck in a hotel concierge outfit on a tricycle with a helicopter hat. Good. Put that down. <laughs> uh, Alfredo, lift it up, turn on the light, let us know what you got. There we go. Don't touch. You can't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> What is in your box? <laughs> well, it looks like it's, it's a, okay, so it's a bowl, and inside the bowl it's, I guess, like whipped cream or shaving cream. There's sprinkles on that, and then there's an action figure, and there's a little sign that says jump in. <laughs> okay. That says what? Jump in, jump I believe in. you said. <clears throat> Blaine, pop it open, turn on the light, what do you got? We've got... Star Wars action figure riding on a dinosaur, and he's got an umbrella in one of his hands. All right, Star Wars action figure, Blaine. Another action figure for Alfredo. Jump in to the cream, and then whatever Chris said. <laughs> uh, Gav, you get to question them up to your discretion, uh, my discretion, starting with whoever you want. You know who you want to start with? Start with Chris. Yeah. All right, start with Chris. Uh, whenever you're ready, go for it. What color is the duck's outfit? It's red. And what color is the duck? Uh, kind of a whitish and green and red. And that was three colors. Blue. And blue. What was that? What did you say about helicopter? Yeah, it's like a. Imagine a helicopter propellers, but they're saggy. Droopy, droopy helicopters. Dro a droopy rotor. Where is yeah. this? On his head. On his head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the hand on the head is so tricycle. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Y you know. What color, what color is that? It's silver. <laughs> <laughs> you know, classic. How many wheels? 
Well, there's three. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> That's right. Didn't trip you up there. You got it. You got um, him. I'll give you one more. <clears throat> what is the biggest object? Or well, the duck. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'll You're just... done. Well, I mean, it's his <laughs> duck large. <laughs> large duck uh, aboard the tricycle. All right. So moving on to whoever you want next. Uh, let's move uh, back over to Liar. That'd be Alfredo. Mm. Uh, hey, what's hey, up? Go for it. <clears throat> Uh, what flavor's the lip balm? <laughs> Original. Okay. And um, what color's the bowl? It's red. The, what, what's the sort of the? T is it a sheen? Is there? Is it a glazed bowl? It's Describe a bowl the bowl. Shiny. It's a little rigid. A rigid bowl. Well, it's got like not a floppy bowl. No, no, it's not floppy. <laughs> okay. It's like an actual like ceramic bowl. But you're saying ceramic. rigid, like it's it, got ridges. Yeah, it's got like, like a, a like it's a not just, It's not smooth. Ridged. It's just, it's bowl. just ridged bowl. Yeah. For her pleasure. Stop. <laughs> Stop. And how full is it? Uh, it doesn't overflow. It, is the uh, peak almost... of the cream higher than the rim? Like the, no. It's below. So it's just a, a small amount of cream. It's enough to almost reach to the top. But it's flat. Well, I mean, the cream is kind of like, I, I think it's shaving cream. So it's kind of, it's got little, little hills. And what color are the sprinkles? Multicolored. Multicolored sprinkles, but what, what is the most frequent color? Oh it's my pink. gosh. Prink. Sorry, pink. <laughs> 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 All right, and I'll, you know, you know pred. Oh <laughs> prink. Gav, one it's more a lot question of colors, like man. Pink, purple, but like, I would say pink. We combine them, <clears throat> it's prink. Yeah, prink. What color is the bowl? The bowl's red. Okay, still red. Whoa, doubling back. I don't know. Just... All right. Not a single question about the action figure or the sign. Um, no, <laughs> I didn't just, I just, just, just this bowl of Just cream. the bowl, what it looked like, and the consistency of the cream. <laughs> Pretty I much feel all like when I, when I go to every bit back and forth, I don't take in enough about one thing. So I was going all in on the bowl and the cream. Uh, Blaine, <laughs> that leaves you. Mm -hmm. uh, Gavin, go for it. <clears throat> so what was it again? It's a Star Wars action figure riding on top of a dinosaur. He's got a little umbrella on his hand. Which hand? Right hand. His right hand? Yeah. Is he facing you? No, he's facing that way. He's facing Jeremy? Yeah. Okay. What, what type of dinosaur? I think it's like a T-Rex or a Velociraptor. Something that's bipedal. Oh, you can't just look and tell me? No, I'm not going to look. I'm going to see. I'm gonna, this is my bit. I'm going to see if I can not look at it and just okay. go. Okay. All right. As long as you don't get anything wrong. <laughs> what color is the <laughs> dinosaur? Green. What color is the umbrella? Blue. It's just straight flat blue. Blue, cherry blossoms, got a little red and green stems. Ooh. And is it just out? Yeah. Fully, fully out? Yeah. So you know those cocktail things? The little so which umbrella way is the umbrella things? facing? That way? Because he's holding it like that. So it's slightly behind him. No, it's like that way. But he's facing Jeremy, but it's going that way. Yeah, like that way. Now, Blaine, it's killing me that you said it's a, an Star action figure, Wars a Star Wars action, action figure. And being the guy you are, haven't said what action figure it is yet. It is an Empire Strikes Back Luke Skywalker from Hoth. And I think it's the 97... It's enough. The, it's enough. No, 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 forget it, forget it. Power of the Force ones, where they're fucking jacked. <laughs> <clears throat> One last question for Blaine. How is it on the dinosaur? Is it just balanced? Looks like he's hot glued on. Like he, glued they, they, on. Like, they like stuck him on, but then they had to like put glue between his legs. Wait, also with the figure. umbrella. Hot glued on there. All right, you got him hot glued on the back of the dinosaur. Audience, take in all of that lovely information. Tell us who actually has the item within their box. Gavin, <clears throat> uh, you know, based on what you've heard, is there anyone you're totally not believing right off the bat? No. <laughs> okay. Audience, we're going to lock in your answer. <clears throat> you're locked in right now. Um, hopefully... You got it right. You need this point. Uh, Gavin's running away with it. <clears throat> you guys got two points up for grabs if you can fool both of them. So I'm trying to hone in on some, like oddly specific stuff that no one would come up with. Like who would say droopy helicopter rotors? <laughs> would he come up with that? That's so weird. That is why we brought this guy on. <sighs> Just letting you know that. Blaine went into turbo detail about this action figure, Star Wars guy. Spelt Blaine's name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> an E on the end. Um, prink. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the prink sprinkles. 
<laughs> Frank Sprinkle. I Everyone's think the person most likely to be lying is Liar himself. Okay. It's true. You think he, the cream wasn't adding up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to press you for an answer, my friend. Uh, I'm going to go with Chris. Then Chris actually has the item within his box. Sure. The droopy <laughs> propeller. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. Audience, oh, you want to lock that in? I'll lock it in. Lock that in. Audience, let's see what you locked in. Let's get a <laughs> glimpse here. 61%, oh, I think shit. it's a bowl of, bowl of prink cream. Prink cream, cream. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> All right, so we have, a, we have a split decision here <clears throat> once again. Um, and I am not the one revealing who has what this time. Uh, you guys are going to be revealing it, so I'm going to count down from three. You re other side, Chris. <coughs> you reach in front, <laughs> and you're going to slide that out of the way. So, uh, in three, two, one, reveal. Uh, we have, yes! indeed, a, uh, duck on a tricycle. Let's, let's get this guy in the light here. There he is. <laughs> Now, <laughs> this thing, <laughs> you might be thinking that? this thing is bizarre. A fan has actually sent this in for the show to put in a box. This is sent from Chris, <clears throat> fittingly enough, uh, CN Arnold 92. So thanks very much for sending in that item. This I mean, he groupie. didn't lie. It is a groupie. It's got all the colors. And uh, it is actually, uh, here, Gav, if you want it, I can hand this to you. It is actually also a wind-up toy. Oh, can I give it some? Yeah, you can give it some some beans if you want. I don't know how well it works. Oh, Not Mary. <laughs> oh, 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 there he goes! Look at him go. <laughs> 20 bucks says that's haunted. <laughs> so, uh, that is the item. <laughs> he keeps coming wow. back to you, he's coming back! <laughs> He's coming back, Gavin! What is that shot? Not a bad description, Chris. No, Thank you. You, you, did, you did a good job there. So you can close your boxes again. And uh, so, Gavin, you nailed that one. Audience, you did not. You did not manage to suss that one out. Alfredo got you, the liar himself. It wasn't me. Lathered up and put the lies on there. Feeling good. Uh, which means that's going to give one point to Gavin for figuring that out and one point to the deceivers for fooling the audience. So we're currently at three to one to zero. So, audience. You're really going to need this point, because uh, here's the thing. On this show, you just don't want to be the loser. And uh, if the audience and Gavin can both beat the deceivers on this next game, then I will give an extra point to the audience there. The deceivers will get no points, and they'll be the losers. This episode of Chump is brought to you by Bespoke Post. This winter, start a new routine to upgrade your everyday life with a monthly box of awesome from Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post sends guys only the best stuff every month. So whether you're looking to commemorate an occasion with a champagne saber or toast perfectly aged winter cocktails, Box of Awesome has you covered. From style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has carefully built collections for every part of your life. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right Box of Awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or cancel any time. Each box costs only 45 bucks, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. I use the Forge box, which uh, had a Damascus steel knife inside there. I bring it with me when I go hiking, and it comes in handy all the time. So to get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com, you can enter the code CHUMP at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com and use code CHUMP for 20% off your first box. Do it, you won't regret it. Thank you. So it's between audience and deceivers right now in the final game, which is called Just the Facts. <clears throat> so I have a true fact about one of our deceivers, but all three of them are claiming that this fact is about them. Uh, Gavin is gonna get to question each person up to my discretion before I make him move on to determine who this story is actually about. Audience, you're doing the same thing by voting along using hashtag Chris, hashtag Alfredo, or hashtag Bland on who this story is actually about. And the story is one of our three deceivers was once beaten with branches by an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So uh, audience, you're telling us which of these lovely gentlemen actually had that happen to them. Um, so, Gavin, on this, you can start with whoever you want. 
And uh, you question them up to my discretion. I'll start with Blaine. Ooh, reverse order. All right, start with Blaine. Uh, whenever you're ready, Gav, go for it. What was your relationship to this man? Oh, I didn't know him. Stranger. Mm-hmm. Why did why, this happen? Why the branches? He was at the neighborhood park, and he was fishing, and my sister and I were throwing rocks into the water, and he pissed him off because we were scaring away all the fish, so he chased after us with some tree branches. Why didn't he just use his rod? Probably because he was in the water. He was in the water? No. Or the rod, the was, rod in? was in the water. It was like the lure <clears throat> was out. Where, where did the branches come from? Nearby tree. It was you the just, fall, so I think they were just on the, the ground. Oh, so he picked it up, then he ran didn't rip it Chase out of the after. tree. How old was the man? He's pretty fast. I'd say he's like 60. 60s. What color was his beard? He didn't have a beard. Who said he had a didn't... beard? <laughs> I mean, that's, I was asking two questions at once. Okay. Um, you said you were throwing rocks in the water. Were you skipping rocks or just throwing them? We're skipping rocks. Oh, you were skipping them. Yeah, although after he did that, we were pissed off. So we came back with a bigger rock and we threw it into the pond. <laughs> just did, to really piss him off and we fucking ran. Did you? Did he warn you first or did he charge straight in with the branches? He warned us first. He's like, hey, can you kids stop? And then we just kept going. Why didn't you stop? Because we were skipping rocks. It's me and my sister were hanging out. How old are you? Uh, seven. seven. Alright, that's it. I'm stopping you there. That's your questions for Blaine. Skipping rocks, old man, fishing, <clears throat> chased him with a branch. Uh, moving on to... Laya. Alfredo. Whenever you're ready. Why, man? So, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's story is almost similar to mine. Oh. It was in Golden Gate Park, and... Shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I really shouldn't have. Uh, no, I walked up to the pond, started feeding ducks with my sister. We were, like, 10 years old, and this guy just came over because we were feeding ducks, he was feeding ducks, but the ducks started coming towards <laughs> us. And so he was duck jealous. He was duck jealous. You know what I mean? They kept flocking to him. Was the duck riding any sort of vehicle? <laughs> no, not this one. No okay. droopy helicopter hat or anything like that. So how old are you again? Honest? Like ten. Ten feeding ducks. Yeah. Why? I don't know. We were at the park with your parents. Yeah, family brought us. Why? So and then the guy just charged at you with a branch. Yeah, he took the branch, just started yelling. I couldn't understand what he was saying. And then where was he from? Sort of whopping. I don't know. He was, he was Asian. I don't know what. He's Asian. What yeah. color was his beard? He didn't have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you're really hoping for this beard, dude. Yeah, beard I can thing? see you wanting no, it. No, there was no beard. What was your response to this event? I ran away. But then my grandma got upset. And that was scarier. She that picked was, up two branches. Yeah, because a, a Filipino grandma, she don't play that. So <laughs> she was real mad. And they just they yelled at each other. I went to go get a hot dog. <laughs> All right. That's your questions for Alfredo. So, old man with duck envy. <laughs> Uh, chasing after him at a park. And uh, that leaves you with Chris, who has now also snagged some lip balm from somewhere. And, uh, <clears throat> Gav, what do you got for Chris? Why did someone beat you with branches, Chris? I paid him. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off there, uh, so we're gonna go. <laughs> no, go for it, I'll give you more questions. <laughs> <laughs> you paid someone, why? Uh, so, it's a similar story to theirs. Doesn't uh, sound similar yet. <laughs> uh, I was uh, trying to get a massage, and uh, wandering, I was traveling, wandered, uh, went to a place, uh, and there was a guy, an old dude, he didn't speak much English. I bought a massage, where I thought was a massage, and then I laid down on uh, planks of wood, and then he uh, poured honey on me and then beat me with some tree branches. I mean, How is that anything? Hey, I was gonna say! Any of those stories! There's no ducks! There's, there's no, no jealousy, there's no, there's no anger! There's an old man. What color was his beard? He didn't have a beard. Damn, none of these men none have beards! None of the old men have beards? <laughs> so, you, did you like it? No, I didn't. Did it hurt? Yeah. Not like, like... Did you tell him to stop? No, because I, I guess it was what I... He was doing what I had paid him to do. I just didn't know what I was signing up for. You didn't for. know what you were paying for? Yeah. Why honey? <laughs> Why branches, right? Yeah. Uh, right, weird. What a weird world. I don't know what questions to ask to this. Well, There's I'm gonna... so many... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one more on this. Because I just want to see where it goes. Oh, I've got nothing. 
Got <laughs> never, nothing. Never mind. Chris? All right, well, so the old men were described here. You said he didn't speak much English. Do you know what he spoke? Russian. He was a Russian old man. I think. A Russian old man with honey and branches. Duck envy or uh, the <clears throat> skipper stopper is what we got here on our lineup of stories. Audience, listen, Gav is uh, really going to be going into a dark place here. <laughs> So I need you to uh, gather your thoughts right now. Get your votes in, Gav. Oh my God. Yeah. What are, what are we doing here, man? What, is <clears throat> someone just like outright not telling the truth here? Uh, so so if Chris is just lying and coming up with that, just because it's so obscene, it's very smart. But. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Those are uneventful stories. I don't know why you would tell either of those. <laughs> Feeding ducks. I guess hitting, getting hit with branches is, you know, in itself. If an old it's man snapped on me around those stories. If an old no man meat. snapped on me because I had more ducks than him. <laughs> I'll be honest, I might tell him. I might tell that to someone. <laughs> um, but audience, we're locking in your answers right now. Uh, Gavin. I can't pick Chris and, ha and then have that be a lie. Gavin. What a fool. Here's the thing. If you pick Chris and it's not Chris, this would be the most insulting thing that ever happened to you. Uh, that's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a but real. It's such a Chris thing. He's always like getting scratched by women or beaten by men or without beards. <laughs> Gavin, you know what you need? You know what you need? Here. Thanks, man. Some Shoot, honey man. and some branches is what you need. Thought twice about that one. <laughs> I mean, get off if there's honey on there. Who are you going with, man? I can't. I can't. <laughs> this is the most internal struggle I've ever seen. I'm gonna go with Chris. You're gonna go with Chris. Gavin. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> If that's a lie. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this is a risk, dude. This is gonna follow you for life, but it's up to you. Let <laughs> go, Chris. Is that your final? Are you locking that in? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's lock it in, and I'm reminding the world right now <laughs> that Gavin just <laughs> locked in Chris. <laughs> Honey tipping, branch beaten, beardless man. Audience, let's see it. 63% I'm went wrong for Chris. You're, oh, you don't, you don't, you don't trust the audience? Well, they're wrong all, all night, aren't they? <laughs> Damn, he's really called you guys out. Uh, well, I'm here to reveal that the person who was actually beaten with branches by an old man was Chris Damaris. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! god. He's so good! Yeah. <laughs> Gavin. Woo! There was nothing oh. I wanted more in the world for that not to have been true about Chris. <laughs> Me Chris too. Have just gone. This is what I'm going with. Oh my good this is my root. Chris. <laughs> Chris. You just, you, like, you just didn't know what you were buying? Yeah, well, I just, it was like the special. Massage. <laughs> okay, all right. So no, but I'm not. Right, that, so but I'm not contestant. Not like I thought I was getting like change, a hand job. Stop. I'm not saying change, it was like. We'll get to it. Audience, you got it right. Gavin, you got it right. That's a point for each of you, which uh, yes, technically means that the audience. Uh, oh, oh, the audience gets two points. That's right, because I was going to give them the point if they got it right, which means that for the second week in a row, the deceivers are tonight's draw. There it is, and uh, that is, hell yeah, two in a row, the deceivers uh, didn't, Gavin is still <coughs> flawless in this game. Thank you. have you. yet to get something wrong. Well, I didn't tonight, I got something wrong in the, in the last one. I don't think you did, did you? Well, he's, yeah, maybe he's, hey, maybe I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> but a reminder, this is the season finale, so thank you everybody for joining for this entire <coughs> season. We will be back, and uh, right now, the date of the return is going to be May 6th. So uh, 
We have a couple months off. We're going to see what happened uh, this season. We're going to refine some things more based off of what you liked and what you didn't like. And the show's going to come back even better than ever with uh, more bizarre stories, uh, guests, and other fun things. So get ready for that. Thanks for joining, everybody. And we'll see you guys next season right here on Chump. Thank you, people. Goodbye. Well, guys, that's our show, and that's our season. Let us know who your favorite contestants or deceivers were and who fooled you the most. Make sure to click like if you liked it and click the bell to be notified of when the show finally comes back. See you later, everybody.